Today I'm talking about Mooncakes, a graphic novel by Wendy Shu and Suzanne Walker. Published in October of 2019, this book is suggested for 13 to 16 year olds or 8th to 9th grade. I would describe Mooncakes as primarily a romance or a mystery book with supernatural elements. I also think there are elements of the slice of life genre, but I wouldn't really call it a slice of life book. I'm gonna go over the plot, what I did and didn't like about the book, some world building lore stuff, and my general thoughts and feelings. Also, I'm not the recommended demographic for the book, so take my thoughts and feelings with a grain of salt. The book follows Tam, a non-binary werewolf, as they return to a town they lived in when they were younger. Tam is after a demon in the woods and is intent on stopping it from getting free and wreaking havoc on the community. At the same time, one of Tam's childhood friends, Nova, is a young witch living with her grandmothers. They own and operate a bookstore, doubling as an epicenter for the magical community in their town. Finding out that Tam is back in town, Nova and her grandmothers and Nova's friend, Tatiana, team up to help Tam to stop the demon. The story gets complicated when it's made clear that Tam hasn't been completely honest about what the group is dealing with or the number of enemies that are after them and the demon. Earlier I mentioned that this book sort of felt like a slice of life and that's because aside from the main plot there's a lot of filler in this book. These are mainly small homey moments such as family gatherings. They definitely work in a character study sort of way and give us a glimpse further into the lives of the characters. An example of this is that Nova's mom wants her to move away and study magic, uh, since I guess that's what witches do a la Kiki's delivery service. Another example is seeing Tatiana's babysitting job. I'm calling this filler since you could take it away and still be left with the story's main plot, but it does add a dusting of characterization that I think would otherwise be lacking in the story. These scenes are also where the book's name comes from. Nova's family celebrates Sukkot and Mid-Autumn Festival alongside each other. They are literally eating mooncakes under a sukkah, which is pretty cute, and it blends the two celebrations really well. What did I like about Mooncakes? The premise itself is really cute, and the art style grew on me as the story progressed. Wendy Shu has almost a sketchbook style, and I think it works really well with this particular book and story. The plot itself isn't overly complex and relies a lot on the reader to be on board with suspension of disbelief. It plays it fast and loose with details and doesn't really feel the need to overly explain the concepts to the reader. My favorite moments were the smaller ones when activities and conversations were happening. I wasn't overly compelled by the larger plot. To me, the most charming part of the book was kind of seeing the colorful characters and being introduced to the fantastics of the world. So that's what I liked about Mooncakes. Now I'm going to pick it apart a little bit to go back to shoe style. I do think the backgrounds and character pacing could have been refined a little bit. Sometimes it seems like they're just kind of vaguely floating around or that the background changes unnecessarily. And this isn't a deal breaker by any means, but once I noticed it, it was hard to unnotice it, if that makes sense. One thing to mention about Mooncakes is that it does feel really long. At over 200 pages, it sort of drags in the middle, and then the ending almost feels like blink and you'll miss it. The book sounds like it was a passion project for the author and illustrator, and I can totally understand them wanting to keep that vision as a whole, but I think there was potential to trim the fat on the story overall. The villain also felt very uncompelling and underdeveloped. We're meant to see the villain as a reveal or a twist, like a betrayal from one of the characters to another. However, the book established that the villain wasn't well liked from the get-go, and with the cast being as small as it is, it just didn't land the way that I think it was meant to. Okay, so I mentioned this is a supernatural story. What does that mean for Mooncakes? If you've seen my review of Squad, you would probably know that my favorite subgenre of monsters are werewolves. How do they work in a story? Well, they're a little different than your typical wolfman or American werewolf in London types. In Mooncakes, the werewolves seem to act almost as pseudo-witches. They turn into literal wolves in a sort of burst of magic compared to the more traditional tearing of flesh and bone type. Werewolves in this book also possess magic in a more traditional sense. We see Tam creating energy bursts and performing magic with Nova. 
It's sort of treated like a new wave magic though, since they repeatedly point out how no one knows how it works or why some werewolves are able to harness this new level of power. To me, it felt very romantic and unique take on lycanthropy. The wolfishness is still there, but it's dialed down significantly. Werewolves are unique in that way where you can sort of reinterpret them however you want. I could totally see this version of lycanthropy having cultural or folkloric ties, so if you know anything that sounds familiar to that, please leave a comment. I'd love to learn something Thing new. Witches and mooncakes are sort of the other side of the coin. They function very traditionally in this book, which is seem to be the magic nerd variety, with Nova's family specifically operating a bookstore to feed the need for knowledge that they all seem to have. Nova's grandmothers are very powerful and both seem more curious than cautious. I really like when witches are treated this way and it plays well with Tatiana's character who's more analytical or science-based. Tatiana is really the only non-magical character with any weight in the story. I wasn't particularly interested interested in her, but I could totally see other people really liking her character. As a footnote, because I don't really know what other section to put it in, this is an LGBTQ plus story. Many of the characters that appear in Mooncakes can be interpreted or are clearly shown to be some sort of LGBTQ identity. The most clear example of this is Tam, who states their pronouns at the very beginning of the book. The characters' identities are validated throughout the story and are treated less as an element and more of a matter of fact. If you're someone who prefers representation without prejudice or negativity related to those topics being present, then this may be a book worth checking out. How did I like Mooncakes? I'm gonna be honest, this book isn't for me. The writing can get very cheesy at times, and there's a flatness in both the story and characters that just didn't grab my attention. The cute moments that I did really enjoy just couldn't make up for the areas of the book that I personally didn't like. However, I do think Shu and Walker did a fantastic job creating Mooncakes as a book for the 13-16 to 16 demographic. If I was back in my Tumblr high school phase, I probably would have ate this book up. It feels like a really good-hearted story above everything else, and I think younger readers, particularly those looking for some LGBTQ plus easy reading, could really get on board with this book. Have you read Mooncakes? What did you think? Let me know if there are similar books worth checking out. As always, I can't thank you enough for checking out my review, and I'll try making something new again soon. Thank you!